So we're going to make a uh, fly cutter. I've seen ones kind of like this. Um, that's a chunk of steel I bought off eBay. They use those for targets to shoot at. Just some steel. Um, first we're going to face where it's going to mate with the... Uh, Oh, I forget what the adapter is called, but the R8 adapter for the mill. Doing a little turning on the edge just for just because. And this is the biggest annular cutter I got, it's an inch and sixteenth, but we got to board out to inch and a half. I took the little blocks off the adapter to do the fitting, um, and it's good tight fit. Um, ended up using the die grinder to grind the last little bit to get it to fit and so but it fits really good really hard to get in then setting it up on the mill to cut the two grooves for those little uh, dry things those are the dry things you can see there Can't think of the name of that arbor. Maybe it's an arbor. But it fit good. And then there's the lock nut to keep it on. Thing's kind of heavy. It's an eight inch diameter chunk of metal. I think it's like 30 bucks. Now I just need to add a cutter to it and so balance it maybe. maybe. Cut where they cut it out, or a big chunk out where they cut it out. And I'm going to try to mill slot for the tool cutter, and this first attempt's not going to go well. Because as soon as that cutter hit it, it started spinning the work on the mount. As you can see by those teeth marks as it just walked right along it. So then I moved it over to the edge of the angle plate and added another clamp on the edge and that held it good and there's once I cut the groove and that's just a tool holder I had bought off eBay I don't know if it's gonna work for this or not if not we'll cut a different groove and mount something different and you have to set the cutter down below where that locking nut will be I haven't tried it yet, but got it built. I took all those hoses away from there. I just they were just asking to get caught and flung in my face. So that's about it. Now I gotta find something to give it a test drive on it. It's probably about seven and three quarters inch diameter that it'll cut. Um, and that's just a quarter inch aircraft bolt there holding it on. I'm going to order some drilled head ones and safety wire it on. Don't want that cutter coming flying out at me. But we'll give it a try, see if it works. Thanks for watching.